I didn't really know adults did this. Jeff, you're terrible. I knew, like, kids and teenagers did it, but... Oh. This is the oldest form of competition. Yeah, I don't think it's meant for older people, though. Take an object, throw it at somebody, and they try to get out of the way. I mean, they got shirts made up and everything. Ball blart, ball cop. That's not bad. No, that's dumb. Your mom and them is pretty cool. I don't know what that means. You don't know what it means. Your like mom your mama and them. You know, your mom yeah. and them go on the mall. We talk about your mom and them. Where's your mom and them? It's like your mama jokes, you know. That's not what your mom and them said. Your mama jokes. That's that's yeah. it. Well, your mom and them, like. The crew that your mom rolls with, like your mama's entourage, kind of. Yeah. Okay. Let's go, your mom and them. We talk about your mom and them. Normally, I would be making fun at Jeff for joining a dodgeball league. You're playing like your mom and them. <gasps> oh shoot! That's a hey. But I gotta tell you, when we were kids, we played various forms of the same game. We played dodge rock. What? That was a fun game. Remember when you hit that guy in the back of the head? He disappeared like a fart in the wind. <laughs> That's the ultimate form of competition. You're good at it, or you're headed to the emergency room. <laughs> oh! 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 Winner of your mom and dad. What's up? Wow. Jeff. Good job. Good, good job, game. Jess. Pulled it off. I didn't know adults did that. You didn't? I didn't. I thought it was just a kid game. Oh, my goodness. Uh, what is going on with the Duck Boys? Why am I not surprised? What happened? Did the flute factory fall apart? What happened? They only had medium shirts? Hey, <laughs> you're looking at the statewide champion, thank you. 64 pairs, just what? You missed an eye there. McMillan's Villains. It's a, it's a play on words. What? Yeah. Speaking of playing, y'all playing with these two girls? Your mom and them playing with girls. Matter of fact, we just saw your mom and them at the Duck Diner since I've been eating there free for a year. I mean, you can tip hey, still. It's all free. Me and Philip McMillan have a long standing rivalry. Kind of like Ollie and Frazier, if they were older, hairier, and really out of shape. Well, y'all may want to put a team together. We'll play you. I don't know if you guys are in shape to play. I mean, Willie's not very good at dodging biscuits. Gravy. That's very true. No, he's not good at dodging. You may get hurt if you keep running your mouth like that. Your mama and him. Old McMillan and I have competed against each other in a lawnmower race, which I won. An outhouse race, which he won. <laughs> now he wants to play dodgeball. I think this rivalry thing has just gone way too far. This is just childish. Please. Missy, you don't have to play. We're not going to make you wash your makeup off and come out there and break a nail. Really? Speaking of chip to nail, chip to nail. Yeah. It may not be the coolest game, but the thought of getting to throw stuff at Phil, it's kind of exciting. We'll meet you on the court. That's his hardest throw right there. Your mom and him. Oh! Ooh. Phil, That's I'm in. For you. That's going to cost you. Oh, gosh. Camp Chioka, two days. Two days. There's a state championship for dodgeball? Nah, he's full of crap. Do you have any tens? Nope. Go fish. You got any aces? I'm not playing with you if you keep doing this. You need to work on your poker face, OK? Oh, what a sweet oh. kitty. Oh, cat's been acting weird lately. Really? Yeah. He's staying out all hours. And look, he come back the other day, <coughs> and he had spaghetti all over his face. Well, he found some spaghetti. No. Who cares? My dogs go out and find stuff, too, to eat. He's got a home. He don't need to be going out to another one. Me and Sweet Pea, hey, look, we're like two peas in a pot. We both like, you know, take naps, OK? We both like fried crappie, all right? And then we both land on our feet if you drop us off of the roof. Maybe it's like Lady in the Tramp. I ain't gonna put up with no hanky panky. And they're going to a little alley, and there's an Italian restaurant. Oh, yeah, I bet there is. Look, but lately, my little napping buddy has turned into a two-time heifer on me, purring like he's met the love of his life. Have you ever thought about following Sweet Pit and see where he goes? You want me to stalk my cat, is what you're saying. That's right. Pet detective. Like Jesse Ventura? 
think it was well, Jesse Aikman. Ventura was a, a mayor of some California town. He was a wrestler. Well, hey, all I know is he got killed by the predator. That is weird. It is weird. So where'd Sweet Pea go? Hey, no need for Jesse Ventura. I got Sweet Pea under house arrest, Kate, and I'll probably put a chain and ball on him. Side, that what? door is open. Yeah, I left it open. Good so grief. we've got to follow him and see where he's going. Hey, he's living a double life on me. Well, do you want me to call Phil? He's a tracker. No, Phil don't even like cats. I know the perfect person. He's a tracker and a notary public. All right, these will be the practice balls. I don't think he practiced dodgeball. You throw the ball and you dodge the ball, right? No, you got to practice. What are we practicing? We're going to throw at the targets, OK? There's not going to be seven people all piled in in a five-foot area. Aim for at us a to target hit. and hit the target. Well, nobody is standing still. Let's go. Hit. They could huddle up. I mean, that's the way they did. This is where you start. No, they didn't. Did you see us huddle up today? No, we're spread out. In any kind of warfare, sometimes they will huddle up. That's it. It's the iron phalanx. What's it called? That's it. Iron phalanx. You don't want to huddle up. That's a terrible idea. It's a terrible idea. All right, let's go. Hit the targets. That's terrible. We've got a big dodgeball match coming up that will settle this rivalry with Phil McMillan once and for all. So I want our team to be in tip-top condition. Uh, that's terrible. 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 Woo! Terrible. Terrible! Compliments are for losers. That's why I'm choosing to motivate them through negative reinforcement. Oh! Yes. I was distracted. Work on your form. My hands are sweaty. Let's go. <laughs> You're out. Focus! If you want your team to win, you need to let them know all the things they're doing wrong. I'm much better in a game. Yeah. I'm better at dodging. And right now, that's pretty much everything. Y'all are horrible. Fire at will. Who's the bad one? Who's the bad one? Butt shot. Butt shot. She's got a spleen shot on me. This is opening rush. It's the most important drill you can do right here. Important drill. Rush is a rush. really big deal. It's a really big deal. Really huge deal. Big deal. But if you don't start off good... This is where the game starts. In the open rush, you lose the game. It's the most important part. You can't teach speed. Yeah, but you, there's... There's a technique to get in the ball. There's ball. a technique to get... I'm, I'm getting there. First team who gets there... They got a, the advantage. They got the advantage. Y'all are making this way too complicated. Jeff, bring this stopwatch. It's kind of my drill. I mean, I laid the balls out. I'm the team captain. Why are you the captain? You don't play dodgeball. You don't play dodgeball. I think Jeff played should... dodgeball when I was little. Here's the problem. Willie's the CEO, and he thinks that makes him qualified to be a dodgeball coach. I set this whole thing up. Jeff, just Whatever. give it up. He has the worst body type imaginable for this sport. Prove you can dodge a dump truck before you try to teach anything about dodging a ball. Why don't you show us what you can do? I'm saving myself. On second thought, that would probably be the end of your coaching career, the dump truck. You're going to see warrior skills tomorrow. Oh, please. You're going to be calling me Game Time Willie. I think we should have nicknames. I already have a nickname. What's what? yours? Dinja. Dodgeball ninja. I want to be like firecracker. I'm the grenade. Because when you go to the bathroom. <laughs> it's because when I throw it, it's going to destroy something. Stand in front, just take one for the team. That's not a grenade, that's a landmine. That's you. It's sneaky, it's hidden, you don't see it. It's dirty. I'll think about me, I don't know. The pink bandit. How about just bandit? I like the pink panther. I like the pink squirrel. Why are we on pink? Just because I'm wearing it today? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, just call you everybody their color of their shirt? What are you, babe? I think I'm going to be. Coming up with cool and clever nicknames, it's not for everybody. Some people have it, some don't. And Jace, he definitely does not have it. Hyper Jace. Because I'll put you into hyperspace. OK. Hyper Jace. Jace is a classic overthinker. And that's why he comes up with stinkers like Jace the Trace Missile. No one's ever going to call you that. That's four words. No. 
everything that comes out of his mouth is stripped of swag. Swagless. Jace the human shield. Dumb. How about the nickname Dumb? It's nothing to be ashamed of, but it is a bit embarrassing, even for Jace's standards. All right, since y'all had a little fun with me earlier, I've decided to make this even more of a rush. Yeah, okay. First, we're gonna do a little catching game, okay? <gasps> catching game? Oh, oh, my goodness! Go oh, crazy! Oh, shoot, I always had that. Okay, I think we're done. I'm out of here. If y'all play like that, your nickname's gonna be Crappy. I don't know where that cat is. All right, ain't no telling where that idiot's at. Goodness. What's Mountain Man doing here? That's who I call, okay? I hope that's not a mistake. Hey, what seems to be the problem here? Well, Mountain Man, it's a case of infidelity. He's went off with another woman. Infidelity? He's got a girlfriend. What about Christine? No, Mountain Man, you don't understand it, okay? It's about my cat. Name's Sweet Bee. That's right, he won't stay at home. Okay, well, let me take a look around here. Well, and see hey, what he's I can one say. tricky cat now, I'm telling you. You better bring your A game. He left the door open. You left the door open? Well, hey, look. Were you trying to get rid of the cat? No, I ain't trying to get rid of him. I forgot he's just when getting I tried old. to do something. Okay, well, he's somewhere around here, I'd imagine. Wow. Mm. Hey, look, Mountain Man, he's like a redneck pocket knife. He's good for all sorts of jobs. He's also old, rusty, and dull as a tube full. Smells like a cat. But you could call him an idiot Travant because he's got tracking abilities. Hey, I just like to call him Mountain Man, though. Looks like he's headed that way, too. Should we take a picture of that? Mountain man on his knees? No, so, uh, I don't that think so. Make hey, sure. I can't see no track, Kay. Well, they're headed that way and they smell fresh. They're going okay. straight that away. They headed that way and they That's smell fresh, Kay. Did you right get that? Down they down smell fresh. Here. Right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He going through here. This is like Scooby Doo. Yeah, this is like Scooby Doo. <laughs> Go ahead there, Shaggy. Mm -hmm. What? My ankle is hurting. What? From yesterday? My ankle's hurting. I mean, as much as I want to do this, you just don't want to do it. Do why you? don't I bail and let Cole come in? Fine. All right. Okay. Really? Yeah. Well, you look fine now. All right, Missy's out. What? What's wrong? Sweet. <laughs> the good news is we got Cole. All right, you want to do some stretching? We've been stretching. Uh, he stretches forever. Now, we've got a versatile ball here. So, let's work on the hips. Hips. That looks inappropriate. Uh, really? It's kind of embarrassing. I'm just stretch. Everybody stretches. Look, I love my husband, and I support him in anything he decides to do. But he has taken this stretching thing way too far. He's putting that ball to the test. Uh, what are you doing? Stretching my knees. Ludax. I mean, I know he's trying to make sure he doesn't injure himself by playing, so I'm happy he's stretching. But I'm concerned that he's going to hurt himself while stretching. Oh! Oh! oh. Hmm. That was a good stretch right there. And that would be really embarrassing. Uh, well, well, well. Macmillan's villains. And here they are. What are you doing? What'd that ball do to you? <clears throat> what, do you got to deal with Tom Brady? I'm stretching, son. I've never stretched in my life. You're stretching that shirt out. This is what we're supposed to wear when you play D-ball. All right. Do y'all need to stretch? Brother, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it to service on Sunday, so uh, can you put this on the plate for me? I see that. Let's keep it fair. He's a preacher. Keep he it can't fair. Cheat. He's just going to keep it fair. Why don't you go stretch? Five minutes. Are y'all ready? Did you tip the ref? No, I didn't tip the ref. Well, what's he gonna do? This is the most useless referee job you could ever have. I heard that. Great. Pete, Pete. Hey, get back here. 
you two-timing rascal. So I feel like I'm on a wild goose chase. Except I don't see any geese or gooses around here, Kate. Well, a wild cat chase, then. Well, hey. Mount Man, what are you doing? I think she's in there. Hey, it's not a she, it's a he. Okay. Put those binoculars away, you're being a creep. Hadn't you heard about the castle rule? That's his castle. He's got a right to shoot you. All right, all right. I've had it with a cat. Come on, let's go to the house. I've had all I can stand with this lost cat for one day. Come on, Shaggy. Hey, look. I can't believe I've wasted three hours looking for that stupid cat. Hey, there she is. That is a he. OK. Where'd you get this toy? Look, this is the perfect example that felines are just like women. Well, I'm glad you've been having fun, you big fat rascal. Don't upset him. Hey, you fixed to fall You're off. You're gonna make him fall oh, off no, that whole thing. Oh, no, he's fixed to fall, and I hope he does. Then we'll... <laughs> <laughs> they put you through a whole bunch of crap, and they never apologize for it. Well, that'll be $5 for the tracking fee, Si. $5? Look, every once in a while, you're reminded, hey, don't waste your time trying to figure them out. You big fat rascal, you, you ain't worth two cents. Look, just be happy with the time you get to spend with them. At least you don't have to, you know, spend time with Mountain Man. Five dollars. You know what, Sweet Pea's home. She's well. She's right. happy. It's not a she, it's a he. You gotta admit, Sweet Pea is a little girl's name. Oh, good grief. Your mama name. <laughs> Look, they have a Marine on their team. Come on, let's come on, let's get all hyped Woo! up. Come on, get together. Let's get all hyped up. One, two, three, duck pluckers. Wait, do we go down, up on two, or like one, two, down, I'm only up touching on, Justice and come up on three, just or you go just, just one, two, just three, just duck pluckers. Is this mandatory? Okay, ready? So go down Cut on three. Chase. Be a team Ready? Oh, One, two, three. Duck Walkers! Woo! Yeah. Woo! 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 Are we ready to rumble? Yes. All right, everybody must have a hand or foot on the wall to begin the game. On my whistle. Expected. All those hearty meals at the Duck Diner have not helped Phil's dodgeball game. Dang, I should have caught that ball. Dang. I did not expect, however, to be playing against a military sniper. Oh, shit! <laughs> Corey, out. I mean, if this guy can hit a moving target a mile away from the top of a Humvee, he's going to make quick work of six idiots standing about 10 feet in front of him. Oh. 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 Watch out! Watch out, Paul, watch out! You're out. I should have just challenged Phil to a game of bowling. It's one on one now. Come on, Cole. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Get him, Josh. Good job, Josh. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Hey, don't hurt my baby. Get me. <laughs> We might have lost to Philip Macmillan in the past, 
while riding a toilet, but not today. I think I will be at church tomorrow. To... No refunds there, bud. <laughs> but I will be glad to see you at church. Today we ascend on the throne of victory. Well, I guess that's all of it. I got pizza coming. Y'all want to eat? Y'all want to eat some pizza? Yeah. Celebratory pizza. Good game, man. Sorry. Ducks good and game, villains. Guys. Good, good, game. good game, guys. Yeah. Ah, good game, Dr. Good game. Good game. All right, let's pray. Father, we're so thankful for everything you've given us. We're thankful for this great game. Through Christ we pray. Amen. 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 All right, let's get on that pizza. Ooh, that's some good-looking pizza there. It's important to love, accept, and forgive anyone in our lives, regardless of whether they're family or bitter rivals. Despite whatever disagreements or issues we may have, everyone deserves a second chance, whether it be an animal or just a person who smells like an animal. Just because we battled it out with Philip McMillan and his team of weirdos, doesn't mean we can't sit down and break bread when it's all over, especially because that bread is part of pizza, and you don't want to miss out on that. Hey, Sid, did you ever find out where your cat was going? He's hanging out with your mom and him. I don't know why I even ask. All right, let's pray. Father, we're so thankful for everything you've given us. We're thankful for this great game. Through Christ we pray. Amen. 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 All right, let's get on that pizza. Ooh, that's some good-looking pizza there. It's important to love, accept, and forgive anyone in our lives, regardless of whether they're family or bitter rivals. Despite whatever disagreements or issues we may have, everyone deserves a second chance, whether it be an animal or just a person who smells like an animal. Just because we battled it out with Philip McMillan and his team of weirdos, doesn't mean we can't sit down and break bread when it's all over, especially because that bread is part of pizza, and you don't want to miss out on that. Hey, Sid, did you ever find out where your cat was going? He's hanging out with your mom and him. I don't know why I even ask. 